Dorna is a five-axis robotic arm with five rotary joints, J0 through J4. At any moment, the position of the robot and its geometry can be uniquely identified by the values of five joints. J0 is measured relative to the x-axis. J1 is measured relative to the bottom plane. J2 and 3 are measured relative to the previous arm. And J4 is the angle of the tool head. We can also define the XYZ Cartesian coordinate system for the robot. The origin, XYZ all equal to zero, is the center of the bottom plane of the robot, where the robot touches the ground. We define the position of the robot as the location of the tip of the tool head. This location can be represented in Cartesian or joint coordinates. So when Dorner is in this configuration, its location is x equals 1.65 inches, y equals 0 inches, z equals 19.04 inches, a equals 55 degrees, and b equals 0 degrees. a is the angle between the tool head and the xy plane. So a would be equal to j1 plus j2 plus j3. b is exactly equal to j4. In the joint coordinates, j0 is 0 degrees, j1 is 145 degrees, j2 is minus 90 degrees, j3 and 4 are both 0. If you move the robot in the outstretched position shown, x changes to 19.5 inches, y remains at 0, z equals 8.11 inches, and a and b are both 0. And in this configuration, j0 through 4 are all 0. When you move the robot, it's important to pick a number of keys. The keys include path, movement, speed, jerk, and the position of the endpoint. Path, movement, and the position of the endpoint are the required keys, while speed and jerk are optional. When moving from point A to point B, it's important to choose a path parameter. There are two possible values for the path parameter, joint or line. If you choose the joint path parameter, the robot moves the joint simultaneously and uniformly to get to the endpoint. If you choose the line parameter, the motion is in a linear path in the Cartesian space. This means the tip of the tool head follows a straight line to travel from point A to point B. Another required parameter is the movement parameter. There are two possible values for this, zero or one. As an example, let's start at J1 equals to 45 degrees and move J1 to 110 degrees. There are two ways of achieving the final position. If we chose the movement parameter as zero, which is absolute, we would type J1 is 110 degrees and the robot would move directly to 110 degrees. If we chose the movement parameter as 1, which is relative, we would type J1 is 65. This is because J1 is already at 45 degrees, and we only need to move 65 more degrees to get to 110. That's all we're going to cover in this tutorial. For more information, you can refer to the Dorna Wiki.